It's Vlogmas week two. Good morning. It is almost 8 a.m. right now and I've been up for well over an hour and I just came down to get my camera because I want to show you what Tato does pretty much every single morning. Let's just say that I do not have a morning dog. Oh, hello, sir. Life is just so hard, isn't it? I mean, look at this, this is just so ridiculous. I love it. So basically every morning I get up, Tato gives me the stink eye and doesn't move from bed and I go upstairs, make my breakfast, read the paper and he's still in bed. And honestly, I admire this about Tato. He knows what he wants and he takes it. You are just a little character. Since I just got back from traveling yesterday, I normally like the day after to be a get my life together day and a work day. And I just like to wear comfortable clothes, let my skin breathe and just kind of recover from traveling. What I'm wearing, I have my pants partially down to show you that I'm wearing leggings underneath and sweatpants over the top I have my smart wool socks on and then my very glamorous Pusheen sweatshirt which I absolutely love I went out and I got some things. It was time to bring some Christmas spirit home, so I got a poinsettia from the local corner store. I lit my brand new Jo Malone London pine and eucalyptus candle. This smells amazing, and I actually bought this at the airport because when I was in London, they were burning this candle at the townhouse, and it smelled so good, so I had to get one to bring home. And then over here on my dining table, I got a little tiny Christmas tree. And now I'm going to eat my very glamorous sweet green dinner on my even more glamorous TV tray. I'm gonna be watching some garbage Christmas movies. Now, if I may, I would like to give you some garbage Christmas movie suggestions because this may be my favorite genre of all time. If you have not seen The Spirit of Christmas, you need to watch it. It is about a woman who falls in love with a ghost and it's Christmas and it is crazy and I absolutely am here for these kinds of movies. So I've literally not vlogged all day because we have been shooting. This is Christina. Hi. <laughs> First time appearing in the vlog. I've mentioned her multiple times, so now you can actually put a face to the person, but we're currently cleaning up because we spent the whole day making some videos for January. This is the empties bag coming in January. Christina, as I was shooting it, made a list of all the products I talked about it and actually created data around it and told me how many products I talked about, like how many different ones and then how many there were in total. And there were over 80 individually, and then over 100, like including multiples. And then the number one brand, should we say? Something came in the mail for Tato today, and I get really excited about this. Actually, it's Tato's food delivery. So Tato eats the farmer's dog, which is freshly made dog food, and then they freeze it in these packs. And all you have to do is defrost them as you need them. And I'm excited about this order because Tato has been eating the beef recipe, but for this order, I got him beef and turkey. This is not sponsored at all. I've been paying for this and really loving it. Tato is a really big fan, aren't you? You love it. 
I've honestly never seen Tato so excited about his food before. Today is my last filming day of 2018. I cannot believe it. Christina and I have been working really hard to just get a lot of videos filmed in advance. So the last videos that we're doing today are actually for January. And that's because I really wanted Christina and I to be able to take a break for the holidays, to not have to worry about videos. And then when we come back from the holidays, we don't have to immediately rush into everything. We can take our time, we can be thoughtful, and I also wanted to be able to spend time with Christina just fleshing out new ideas, talking about what we want to be making in 2019. It feels good to have everything prepped in advance and to be able to... <coughs> Speaking of Christina, she's here! <laughs> Christina is here now. As I was saying, it just feels really good to have things finished in advance so we can enjoy the holiday season and enjoy our personal time and then also be thoughtful about what we want to be making in 2019. So it's pretty crazy that today is the last filming day of the year. I need some extra caffeine today, so I have my tea here in my cat mug. Isn't this mug amazing? I love this. Christina just went home. I have washed my face, changed into comfy clothes, and now is the time of the day where I turn off the lights in my office. Oh, I hear a little tater tot coming. What's going on? I'm not hanging out in here. I turn off the lights and then I close the door to my office. And yes, I have an air drying laundry rack right there. I have to say that this is probably my favorite point in the day, not because I'm so happy that work is over. It's because I feel so good about the work that we did today, the videos that we made today. It feels good to acknowledge that, but then to also close my laptop, close the door to my office, and enter my personal space and have an evening to myself where I get to watch some trashy Christmas movies and eat dinner and just relax. Because I haven't been able to go to my regular grocery store and get all the groceries I need, I have been getting sweet green for the past couple nights. It's what I'm doing tonight, so Normally I just add corn to it, but recently I've been wanting double chicken, so I'm getting corn and then also adding a second portion of chicken to the guacamole greens. The guacamole greens is my favorite salad from Sweet Green, and I also get two portions of the dressing. Basically, I have to wait until the weekends until I can do full grocery shops because the bigger grocery store is not near me. So I normally wait until I have more time either during the evenings on a weekday or on the weekends. And since I haven't had time this week, I have to do it this weekend. So my resources have been pretty low here. So I've been relying on sweet green. And then tomorrow, Erica actually gets back into town, which I'm really excited about. I'm bundled up, ready to go out. And I'm listening to the Bowery Boys podcast. This one, the beauty bosses of Fifth Avenue. I just packed up my overnight bag because Tato and I are going over to Erica's. And I think we're just gonna have a chill date night in, order some pizza. I think we also might do some grocery shopping. Here's what I have in my overnight bag. I brought the book that I'm reading. Love, love, love this book so much. I have my pajamas and the clothing I'm gonna wear tomorrow because we're gonna go uptown tomorrow and do some Christmassy things. Peony and blush suede body lotion because I'm just obsessed with this right now. And a little tater tot. Are you excited to see Erica? Here we are, grocery shopping. This is Erica, by the way. I'm the cart pusher, <laughs> and Ingrid tells me what to do. <laughs> Going to the banana aisle. Which is actually right there. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Yeah. Score. 
Well, I see that, but I want mistletoe. <laughs> <laughs> Ingrid got me hooked on mochi, which I denied for so long and now I'm obsessed. But this is not a brand I like, so I'm sad. But here's what I get. Fudge bars. Mm. Ingrid was just saying she wants to have a sophisticated cookie and tea evening and she pointed to these. And I was like, oh, that's nice, but I want these. Oh my god, that looks really good. <laughs> smells good too. When I met Erica's on Saturdays, one of my favorite things to do is to go to the local coffee shop and get a donut. And I have the donut I chose right here, and I can smell it, and I'm so ready to eat it. They stock dough donuts, and dough is one of my faves here in New York. I got the coffee cake donut, and then I have my coffee right next to it. I'm also gonna spend the morning watching some Christmas trash. This is some serious garbage right here. Like, it might not even be watchable. This is the street I used to live on when I first had my place in New York. How'd you get over there? <laughs> oh my God. There are so many people now that are on the street always, but what an amazing view of the bridge. One of my favorite things about New York at Christmas time, all the Christmas trees that pop up on the street. Currently waiting for the subway. It's clearly not here yet. We're going into Manhattan to do some Christmas shopping. Wish us luck. We unknowingly came out right in front of the tree. You guys probably can't see it on camera, but it just started snowing. where I'm just so happy that I get to live in New York City. Good morning, it is Sunday, my favorite day of the week because it means I can sleep in, it means the paper is here, and today I'm also going to be making some bagel sandwiches at home. So I had actually planned for this a while ago by getting frozen bagels for when it's cold outside and I don't wanna walk and get bagel. I'm gonna start the coffee just as simple as pressing a button. Instead of waiting for the oven to fully preheat, I am going to put these guys in and let them heat up as the oven heats up. So I have one everything bagel for me and one sesame bagel for Erica. Outside, there should be a paper. Breakfast is ready. Sunday is also the day that Tato gets an extra long walk. And it's really cold outside, but it's a nice brisk day. And I really love it because I get to just enjoy my neighborhood. dropped Tato off and now I am going to one of my favorite coffee places to grab a cup of coffee and then I'm gonna go to Soul Cycle and meet Erica because she's coming out of a class. I love this stoop by the way. I love the red door and the pumpkin and they always have this cute bike outside. Got my cafe Olay with oat milk and I actually got a new band for my keep cup because the cork totally fell apart and I'm really liking the silicone band. Also picked this up from Joe Coffee, the Rockefeller Holiday Blend Coffee. It has chocolate fudge, allspice, and hazelnut. Tato and I are on our morning walk. We had a very frenzied morning. We stayed at Erica's last night and we drove over and I suddenly remembered there was street cleaning. So we had to hurry and get ready before the street cleaning, ticket giving people came around. Um, so that means I only had coffee this morning, a little tiny bit at Erica's and I still need a breakfast. Tato's currently pooping right now, but we'll give him some privacy. I think I'm just gonna run to a little cafe and get something for breakfast. Oh, Tato, do you love the grass? <laughs> he loves this weather and he also loves grass. When I say it's freezing outside, I mean it literally because that pond right there 
is totally frozen. Good old classic croissant, and I'm warming it up in the oven right now just for a little bit. I feel like when Tato curls up to sleep, he looks like a little croissant. Tato and I are out again. Where'd you go, Tay? Oh, there you are. We're off to the vet. Little does Tato know. He really does not like going to the vet, but we have to. I want to get him settled with a new vet here in New York and just make sure that he is up to date on everything he needs. We are out of the vet now. Everything went really well. Kato got two new vaccines, one for Lyme's and another one for canine influenza. And then in this bag, I have his new flea and tick medication and also heartworm as well. Favorite things to do is to let Tato go Tato. Go, Tato, go! Run down the hall in the building. Go, Tato, go! It's me and my yoga mat right here. I'm getting ready to do some yoga at home, that's why my mat is here. Sina and I were actually talking about this earlier, and I was telling her about how this is really the first holiday season I've ever had where I'm not super stressed and I'm not being stretched in a million directions and it's something that I've worked really hard for because we have done so much prep in order to get all of the videos finished through the end of January. We've been working with a really amazing editor named Grace who has helped us with finishing holiday videos. Like I was saying before, I really wanted Christina and I to be able to enjoy the holiday season, to have personal time, and to also have time together because we're still pretty new working with each other and I wanna have time for us to spend together, for us to be creative, and you can't really do that when you're being stretched in a million directions and you're stressed. I've just noticed that during this period where a lot of people are moving really quickly and closing out the end of the year, things have slowed down for me and it's because I've planned things that way but it feels weird it feels weird to be slowing down and there's a part of me that's like am I not doing enough am I not working enough everybody else is you know running around doing a bunch of different things like should I be doing that I have to keep bringing myself back to this place where I tell myself this is what I've wanted and this is what I've planned for but it's just interesting because even when it's something that you want there can still be a level of anxiety around it. Just like, you know, for me moving to New York, this is something that I absolutely wanted. But it was just filled with so many feelings, one of them definitely being anxiety. I'm really just trying to take this in as a reminder to slow down, that it's okay to slow down, and not just okay, but actually necessary. I just finished up with my yoga for the evening and I'm so happy I did it because I think yoga is always a really great reminder that life is about balance. If you just look at the practice of yoga, there are so many different components. There are the elements where you're building heat and you're building strength and things may be a little bit more challenging and you're breaking a sweat. And then there's the restorative poses, which are an integral part of a yoga practice. And it was a really great reminder for me today that those two things really work in harmony together and right now in my life I'm going through a moment of stillness and it's something to really drink in because I have been building heat and working really hard and I've had so many challenges this year and this is my moment of stillness, my moment to check in with myself and I hope all of you are able to find a moment to do the same. Thank you so much much for spending your time with me. I will see you on Friday in my new video and then next Tuesday in my last weekly vlogmas. It's time for me to get in the shower, so I will see you guys very soon. Bye.